Good morning. Thanks for joining us for Roundabout. Today we're going to have a look at the chiropractic way of treating illness. And here are two doctors with us, Dr. McDowell and Dr. Perry from the ACT. Oh, I beg your pardon, from the Macquarie Pri Chiropractic Clinic. Um, what is chiropractic treatment, Dr. McDowell? Chiropractic is a Greek word meaning done by hand. So chiropractic treatment involves uh, using the hands instead of surgery or drugs or medication. Mm -hmm. Is that how it differs basically from the usual form of medical treatment? Chiropractors believe your body has the ability to heal itself, that there is an innate intelligence that is expressed through the nervous system mm. and that interference to that communication network will cause disease or illness and therefore the treatment is to remove that communication problem. And how do you do that? We use various <laughs> procedures uh, and techniques involving uh, structural balancing techniques, involving uh, educative processes for posture and food, as well as uh, lifestyle changes. You've lost me, you've lost me. It all, <laughs> all sounds a bit jargon. What's, what's the uh, structural balancing technique you're talking about? This involves, first of all, the chiropractic uh, word for nerve interference is vertebral subluxation. Mm -hmm. This is where a bone or a muscle may impinge on a nerve or jam that communication coming from the brain to a various part of, of to a part of your body. But wouldn't this be very painful? No, it is uh, over the last 85 years chiropractic has developed techniques that are very uh, uh, comfortable and produce almost no pain. Yes, but if the um, message from the brain to whatever is jammed by some particular nerve, wouldn't, the, wouldn't that actually hurt at the point? Yes, well, by the time that 80% of uh, the communication breakdown has occurred, pain begins. Mm. And we find that by a, the time a person experiences pain, they may have actually had the problem for many, many years leading up to that. And so uh, there can be discomfort over many, many years before this treatment may be sought. So it can be something that happens in childhood that doesn't show up for a long time? Very easily. You've brought some charts along. Can you explain on the charts how this happens? Because it's a bit difficult to imagine. <laughs> yes, certainly. The brain is the communication storage area for the entire body. Yeah. The nervous system is the pathway that your brain uses to communicate into the other areas of the body. At various points along the spinal cord, the nerve passes between bone structures and then goes to the various organs in the body. Chiropractors have found that this area where the nerve comes from and passes next to the bone structure is most commonly irritated. When a fall or an injury occurs, the bone will twist, jam the nerve, and oftentimes this is regarded as a normal by other health professions. Yet chiropractors find that it will produce a communication blockage in many other parts of the body. So say there was an injury to the spine at the point you were pointing out earlier, which was one that led to the, the nerves from there, led to the stomach. Does that mean that would automatically cause some sort of stomach problem? Very easily. We find in people who exhibit uh, diabetes problems with the pancreas, as well as stomach ailments, often there is a subluxation or a nerve interference there. The same nerve here also goes to the rib areas as well as the muscles along the spine. So mm -hmm. oftentimes the only pain felt may be in the spinal region or muscular area and not always in the stomach until many, many years later. So you, by the time your uh, condition comes to you for treatment, it could be a really old injury. Is it possible to treat it so it's 10, 20 years old? Relief is often very, very common. Complete regeneration of an organ that may have died uh, even to a 70, 80 uh, percent position will be very difficult to rebuild and may take as many as 30 or 40 years that it took to become, the in, become that condition. Yes. If somebody is going to you for treatment, do they, do they just go once or do they go several times? The patients uh, of chiropractors usually will attend for uh, symptom relief as quickly as possible. 
and so the chiropractor is dedicated to provide that relief as quickly as possible, then he looks to the cause of that problem and instructs the patient and as to the management of that cause and how quickly that uh, cause is removed depends upon these conditions and time periods. How so it may vary from one to two visits for immediate relief to uh, care for the rest of your life to improve your health. And How do you feel about medication? I was thinking of, say, a patient with a, a chronic little pain somewhere or other may have been taking things like aspirin for quite a while. How do you feel about that sort of thing? We feel that medication is commonly overprescribed, and that many people take it without really understanding that the pain they are experiencing is similar to a, an oil light in your car's dashboard. Rather than take an aspirin to get rid of the pain, it would be similar to getting a hammer and beating out the oil light on your dashboard. <laughs> uh, it doesn't fix the problem, and so we prefer yeah. that you look to the problem and change that and then manage it carefully through exercise, diet and correct environment. Yeah. Dr. Perry, how did you become a chiropractor? It's a very good question. <laughs> <laughs> One of those things, Judy, I'm not exactly sure. Um, my exposure to chiropractic was fairly limited before I went into it. And mm -hmm. I was studying uh, at the University of Waterloo in Canada and uh, was sitting in the library one day and I just started to think of things that would relate to what I was doing and chiropractic seemed to be one of those things that, that would get me into things that I would be interested in and got involved with it and it turned out to be quite good. Mm. And what do you do to become trained as a chiropractor? Well, the preliminary training now in Canada and the United States is at least three years university uh, before the actual four-year chiropractic program or five years in Australia. As it is, now. is that chiropractic program related to the usual doctor of medicine type of degree or is it a completely different thing? The, the, course, um, the course in chiropractic is very similar. I mean, the basic sciences are the same, except mm -hmm. we don't take uh, pharmacology or surgery. We would take chiropractic uh, adjusting and analysis versus those types of things. Mm -hmm. And I believe you can tell us how this sort of injury can happen to the spine that affects us like this. Later. Yes, uh, well, Don was mentioning subluxation, and we have some charts here which uh, would be yeah. appropriate to look at at this time. Um, a subluxation basically uh, is involved with a misalignment of the vertebrae and correcting, correcting a subluxation will improve function obviously in the body. Uh, all systems will be improved, uh, elimination, respiration, uh, any, any of those systems. The causes of subluxation is basically a stress which the body hasn't adapted to and this can relate to uh, anything that, that you can see on the chart, anger, irritation, conflict, uh, contact sports. And yeah, in fact, we feel of the baby being born yeah, birth yeah, process, this is so. uh, this is very significant to us. Um, uh, the birth of a baby seems to be one of the main uh, factors that uh, can cause subluxation. In fact, uh, mm. uh, research being done now in the United States is indicating that this is one of the major major interfering uh, processes that we go through in life, and can lead to you know very severe disorders uh, later on after this has happened. Yeah. Um, how long has chiropractic been practiced, Dr. McDowell? In 1895, Dr. David Palmer mm -hmm. discovered chiropractic. He developed the procedure that we use uh, at this time. So it has been in existence since that period of time. Uh, can you do anything about modern diseases, things like stress or psychosomatic illnesses or the sort of things that have come in the last you know, 5, 10, 20 years, whatever? Very much so. Uh, I believe Dr. Diamond was on your program last uh, week yes. or the week before, and he illustrated many techniques that the chiropractors have developed to help uh, alleviate stress. Mm -hmm. And we use muscle testing techniques to uh, measure the effects of the environment. We are able to uh, improve a person's nervous system to the extent where they can accommodate to more and more increasing stress. So even though it may not be possible to eliminate all stress, it certainly is possible to gain a better uh, ability to cope with it, and your nervous system controls that. And in removing the interference to those areas of your nervous system, mm. um, many great results occur. Are there any illnesses that can't be treated by chiropractic means, Dr. Perry? Hmm. Well, I think when, when you're talking about treating illnesses, I think you're really getting out of the realm of chiropractic because we don't really treat illnesses. All we do is get the body working a little more efficiently, and then whatever the condition is in the body, it will respond because conditions are, as you know, a dime a dozen. There's thousands of named diseases, mm. and basically they indicate that the body is not functioning properly. 
So what we try to do is get rid of those things that are interfering with the body's ability to function properly. When that happens, then the body, if it's not degenerated to the point where you know there's no hope, and we don't mm -hmm. like to say that, but uh, if it's degenerated beyond a, a situation where the matter is is you know completely destroyed, then maybe surgery or drugs would be indicated there. But we don't really treat conditions per se; we treat the body as a whole. Right. Thank yeah. you very much for coming yeah. in. I believe there's a contact number if um, anyone has any queries about chiropractic. And that is the ACT, Chiropractic Association, on 511638. Thanks very much for coming in again. Thanks, um, we'll be back after this break with two members from the Melbourne Theatre Company. <laughs>